And in this video, we're going to have a look at cavity brick construction or double brick. What's the difference between double brick and cavity brick? Effectively, double brick means there's two bricks that are joined. So it's two bricks thick or a full brick thick, if that makes sense, if it's turned on its side. But cavity brick is when there is a cavity in between. And normally we're going for a 50 mil cavity in between, uh, but that can vary than 50 as well. That, unfortunately, they don't work very well. There's, there's no real size that works really well except making it very, very large, like 110, um, in order to be able to turn bricks around corners well. So what we're gonna do here is take a copy of this brick veneer and drag a copy. Now, when we're normally working in ArchiCAD, I, I would always say don't drag copies, don't. Don't destroy originals, but for what we're trying to do, this is fine. We're not destroying anything by doing this. And I'm going to delete all of the information based on the uh, timber frame wall, because in a cavity brick wall, there's no timber frame. Now, what is cavity brick? Basically, it's the same brick skin copied over here but now the brick ties aren't fixed to a timber frame. The brick ties run between the bricks and are laid in between the mortar beds. We will still have the flashing or the damp proof course. I wouldn't ever use plastic when it's just uh, based on brick. What's the advantage, what's the disadvantage of a cavity brick wall? Cavity brick wall is very low bearing. We're not using a timber frame anymore. We're now using wall is much stronger. We can therefore create a suspended concrete floor over the top of a cavity brick wall or a, a single skin brick wall with um, inbuilt piers, engaged piers. Uh, but engaged piers, single skin isn't very good for uh, habitable spaces internally because it's bad insulation. But cavity brick can provide us with decent insulation but there's not a lot there's not a lot of insulation mostly we're talking about thermal mass brick thermal mass brick the only insulation therefore is a gap is the air cavity and that's okay because that means that a lot of the heat cannot transfer from one brick to another it can only fill up the air gap and then transfer into the other brick and so Unfortunately, the way that we calculate insulation using the R value or resistance value is, is a really bad way of working out insulation because a, an R value insulation uh, analysis would suggest that cavity brick performs poorly. And that's just not true. And that's where we need to have better systems to be able to analyze how our buildings perform because in reality, a cavity brick building performs much better than a brick veneer building in terms of insulation. Why? Because the internal skin is thermal mass and that internal skin is much more regulated. Now, how do we make it better? To make our insulation even better, what we need to be able to do is insulate between the brick skins. There's a few different ways that we can do that. One of the ways is to use <clears throat> an insulation board a brick insulation board. Just trying to pick this up. That might only be 10 or 20 millimeters thick. Now that's very thin, but because it's acting as insulation, it's a buffer. So that means there is no direct passage from the brick up but there's gonna be even less heat now that can travel between the air and the insulation and the brick. So 10 millimeters is okay. If we were to make that even thicker, let's add another 10, 20 millimeters, that would be more insulation. And that insulation quality or value would mean that the internal brick skin would be even more temperate. It wouldn't be as affected by the change in temperature outside. So in a lot of situations, we're basing it on the fact that we have a season that's very hot outside and it stays hot outside all the time, or a season where it's cold outside and it stays cold outside all the time, or we have a, si or we have a situation where it's 
hot outside during the day and cold outside during the night. When we're dealing with a climate environment that does change from day to night, we only need to rely on thermal mass. And that's where solid brick, solid concrete, solid stone or solid rammed earth can work really well. However, when we have a situation where it's hot outside for a long time or cold outside for a long time, we must have insulation. We can still use thermal mass, but we must also include insulation. Insulation in the middle is good, insulation outside would be better. We now have insulation under our floor, we have insulation between our walls, and we have exposed thermal mass on the inside, being the wall and the floor. Now, what would happen if we took this insulation and extended it to fill the entire cavity. Now we would know and have discussed previously that the point of the cavity is to allow water, moisture, to be able to drain through the brick, down, through the weep hole and away. So would this work? Well, there's no real need for our because there's no cavity left to drain. What else? It's sort of not complying, it's not conforming, it's a different system. Could it work? Well, it could, it could work because now we're using the foam, the insulation, which can also be waterproof, to build it quite like this before, but we often see that this gets done after the fact. So in a lot of situations where a house is old and has very poor insulation, what some companies will do is come and spray or inject insulation into the cavity between the brick. And of course, when they do that, they will completely get rid of the cavity. There will be no cavity left. So this brick will no longer work like it originally was intended to, where moisture runs down the inside of the brick and then out through the weep hole. Does that mean that it doesn't work? No, it doesn't. It just means that it works differently. And so what we're now talking about is a different system. And then once we're doing that, we would say, well, do we any longer need to have the brick on the outside? What is the brick on the outside doing? The brick on the outside is now doing something different because it's no longer creating a weather skin because we know that the foam is basically doing the same thing in terms of creating a weatherproof skin. So we could theoretically get rid of that brick or another way to think about it might be to move that brick to the inside. One skin of bricks isn't particularly strong. It's not strong enough. Let's uh, mirror this around. One skin of bricks is not strong enough to be load bearing for major elements uh, we'd need engaged piers which means that this second skin of brick let's just move it another 10 millimeters across this could be only seen in the distance how would we represent that well we could represent that by changing the fill pattern or if we wanted just to do it a little bit more efficiently we could just put a fill over it like this but change this fill representation to instead of being solid, we could make that 50%. And now we're seeing a engaged brick column in elevation. So we could do that. Or we could make it two solid brick walls or two solid brick skins. And we would of course need to have a mortar join between them. Thank you for being part of our global learning community.